Did we uh, learn about small intestine or not? Yes, sir. We learned. Yes, sir. We did. Did we learn the digestion of digestion of food? No, no, sir. We did not learn about digestion of food. That amylase enzyme, maltase. Yes, sir. We have done that. Sir, yes, yes. That one we learned. Did we learn about the villi? No, sir. No. We had to start villi. Okay. So let's start. <clears throat> so, first today we are going to talk about absorption of digested food. Now, for understanding how the digested food is absorbed. First of all, we are going to learn about <coughs> the structure of a villus. Now, first of all, the question is that what is villus? Now, well, let's suppose that this is the small part of small intestine. Now, in this small part of the small intestine, there are these small finger-like projections. Now, with these finger-like projections, they are called as villi. This is the plural word. And singular is called as villus. This is singular. Now, <laughs> I am going to draw an enlarged diagram of a villus. Now, this is what this <coughs> looks like. Now, this villus under the microscope, then what we will observe that even on the surface of this villus, there are more small finger like projections. There are more small finger like projections. These more small finger like projections, which are present on the surface of the villus or villi, they are called as microvilli. These are called as microvilli. So, boys, we can label them as microvilli next thing that on the outermost surface there is a layer of cells Now, this layer of cells, it is called as epithelium. This is called as epithelium. Now, next, next thing, boys, 
that from the this side a small artery enters and this artery is called as an arteriole this arteriole it enters into the villus and when it enters into the villus it divides to form the blood capillaries so boys these over here these are blood capillaries then what happens that these blood capillaries they come out as a small vein and that small vein is called as a vinyole so why is this over here this is a vinyole this over here this is a vinyole now boys next thing that if you guys remember that you see when the food was digested we had glucose but one thing which i need to tell you more that over here other than blood vessels there is another type of vessel and i'm representing it, representing it with blue with the yellow color now this vessel it is called as lacteal now more detail about the lacteals it will come in the circulatory system chapter inshallah we will learn in the same term next to next chapter is about circulatory system so guys this is what a villus looks like under the microscope now guys when the food was digested i explained you that last time at that time the chicken biryani that you ate the rice they had starch they digested and they changed into glucose and the chicken that was there it broken down and it changed into amino acids the proteins they digested and became the amino acids then the fats or lipids they were broken down into fatty acids and glycerol now guys what hap what will happen now that these digested food these small molecules they needs to be absorbed into the blood and into the small intestine so what happens first of all this glucose it will be absorbed into the epithelium remember these things they do not go into the blood directly or they do not get absorbed directly first of all this will be absorbed into the epithelium and then from the epithelium it will go into the blood so boys let's mention over here that glucose first it goes where into epithelium and from epithelium it goes into blood capillary understood everyone 
then yes sir. amino acid as well first it goes where into the epithelium amino acid as well first they go into the epithelium and then from epithelium they will go into the blood so we can mention that over here as well that amino acids again first of all they enter into epithelium and then into blood capillaries now boys let me tell you this movement first it will be by diffusion first or in the beginning it will be by diffusion from high concentration to low concentration from high concentration to low concentration but later on or at the end it happens by active transport now i have taught you about the active transport in first term that it is the movement of molecules <coughs> from <coughs> low concentration to high concentration from low concentration to high concentration right boys so from low concentration to Say high your concentration voice is lagging. Say Yes, yes, your voice is very you. much from you see maybe the issue is from your side because it's lagging for only for you sir i can't hear you sir i can hear you yes sir i can also hear you yes. sir so i can also is, hear you so son it is issue from your side if you cannot hear me okay because my side there is no problem otherwise it will show me that i have some issue sir can you hear me yes i can hear you sir, there can is can you hear me yes yes i can hear you there is some issue from your side abdur rahman we can tell him in chat sir yes Very white is lagging so much. Issue on your side, Abdul Rahman. Okay, boys, let's continue. Yes, sir. The issue is on your side. Okay, everyone else can hear me cl uh, clearly. now please pay attention okay boys so listen so in the beginning this glucose and amino acids they will enter into the epithelium and then into the blood by diffusion and after some time when in the lumen of the small intestine the glucose will become less and it will become more in the blood then it will be absorbed by which process by active transport so first it is absorbed by which process by diffusion and then by active transport next wise we are going to talk about fatty acids and glycerol now wise please pay attention this is very very important these fatty acids they will also first be absorbed into epithelium 
but then they do not go into blood. Then they go into lacteal. So remember, boys, let me write over here that the fatty acids first they go into epithelium and then they do not go into blood, they go into lacteal. Understand? And second thing, the glycerol as well. First, it will be absorbed into epithelium and from epithelium, it will go into lacteal, not into the blood. So, let me write over here that the glycerol first it will go into epithelium and then into lacteal. So why is this thing informs us one thing that fats are not absorbed into the blood. Fats are not absorbed into the blood. They are absorbed into lacteals. They are absorbed into the lacteal. Understood everyone? Yes, sir. So now, boys, what has happened? All the digestive food. What has happened? That all the digested food is now absorbed into the blood. Now, what is left behind? Undigested food is left behind. What is left behind? Undigested food is left behind. Now, question is, sir, what do you mean by undigested food? Now, boys, let me tell you one thing. Let's suppose that you eat an apple. Now, where do the apples come from? From plants, right? Means that apple is a plant <laughs> product. Right, so apple yes. is a plant product. Now what happens that these plants, their cells, they have cell wall. And the cell wall, it is made up of what? Cellulose. Now, was an interesting thing that our body do not have enzymes to digest cellulose. Now, boys, tell me one thing. When our body do not have enzymes to digest the cellulose, then what will happen? Then the way it entered into our mouth, no change will happen to it. No chemical reaction will take place to it. It will go out through anus in the same way. So we will call it as un digested food what we will call it we will call it as undigested food understood everyone yes sir yes sir now next thing boys i'm going to draw the diagram of the digestive system again very quickly so that we can understand what happens in the large intestine.
Okay, boys. Now what happened? That all the food now it is digested and absorbed. What is left behind now? Undigested food is now left. Now, boys, what will happen? That undigested food it will come into the large intestine. Now, as I have taught you before, that the large intestine it is divided into four parts. You guys know that this is called as ascending colon. This over here is called as transverse colon. This is descending colon and this over here is the sigmoid colon and this is rectum now boys what will happen in the large intestine now let me tell you that the chicken biryani that you ate it was solid right there was no water into it i'm not talking about the water that you drank i'm just talking about the food that you ate it was solid but water was added into your into your food from where let me tell you saliva it had 90 percent water in it do you remember then yes there was water in gastric juice there was water in bile And there was water in pancreatic juice. So boys, the water was added from our body, from the inside of our body. Now, this water, it needs to be returned back to body. Needs to be returned so boys in the large intestine what happens first of all i am using the word reabsorption of water now let me tell you when the food was in the small intestine it was liquid you ate solid but when it reached into the small intestine it became liquid now, this liquid, you see, will from this liquid, the water will be returned back to the blood. And how it will be reabsorbed from the water. You see, this will be this there will be reabsorption of water from the undigested food. So when this undigested food it will keep on moving from the ascending colon to the transverse colon, to the descending colon, to the sigmoid colon, eventually what will happen? All the water will be reabsorbed. And what will happen? That undigested food, it will change into solid feces. And then there is this rectum, and the job of the rectum is that it stores the feces once this rectum it will become filled up with the feces once this rectum it will be filled up with the feces a pressure will be generated and due to that pressure which will be felt by the brain the message will go to your legs you will go to the loo and the feces will come out through anus Now, this removal of feces is called as ejection. Now, Sir Mushtaq have maybe taught you. If not, then I'm telling you right now that ejection 
and excretion they are two totally different things they are two totally different things now let me tell you that excretion it is the removal of waste removal of metabolic waste it's a metabolic amount body right so whenever yes. the chemical so whenever the chemical reactions take place in the body and waste is produced that re removal of that waste is called as excretion like when we urinate or when we sweat or when we exhale at that time we are we are excreting while ejection it is the removal of undigested food so let me tell you boys very clearly whenever you are defecating whenever the feces is coming out of the anus that is not excretion that is called as ejection is it clear boys yes sir right yes, sir. so never forget this excretion and ejection they are totally different things excretion is the removal of waste metabolic waste while ejection is the removal of undigested food now was very quickly let me tell you two things these two kind of questions can come you tell me that are they both same question or different question 1 question 2 question 1 where most absorption of water takes place question number 2 where most reabsorption of water takes place are these both same questions or different questions different questions yes yes they are totally different question the answer to the first question is small intestine and answer to this question is large intestine now let me tell you in the first question he is asking about absorption and absorption of which water the water which you drink and here he is asking about reabsorption and reabsorption means the water which came out from our own body from saliva from bile from gastric juice from pancreatic juice understand yes right so if these questions come so they have different answers understand these both are not same questions let me quickly save this so that i can share with you guys on the one note anyone has any question you guys can ask no sir no sir okay inshallah boys in the next class most probably our this chapter will finish <clears throat> okay boys i have shared this with in the one note okay
you can get okay, this sir. lecture in the one. Okay, sir. Okay, bye. See you guys inshallah in next class. Take care and Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz.